Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another uh, ink comparison video and this is Purple Inks Comparison Number 3. So I think with that, let's go and swab up some of these inks. So I get a lot of questions on how I do these ink videos. So I decided I would add this to the front of each of the ink videos. I put links in the descriptions, but I know some of you watch this on TVs or mobile devices, so you don't get to see this. So first off, the paper is the number one question that I get asked. What paper do I use for these ink comparison videos? So this is the original Tomoe River this is 52 GSM and it is the white, not the cream, the white. Where possible, I try to go for the white because the cream can actually change the color of the ink just a little bit. So this is Tomoe River 52 GSM in the white. Um, a lot of people get confused as well because I have what looks to be a grid on this page and it's actually an Oxford Optic pad these are the pads that i actually use when i'm writing my uh, writing samples for pen reviews or in my currently ink so they have these little squares up here uh, i just use that because it's a good guide for me when i put this very thin sheet of Tomoe river over i can actually see squares so it helps me write a little bit sort of straight uh, on the page not always but sometimes it does the, the other thing that I also have is a I have a bottle of water, plain water, and uh, I dip my nib in here. So for consistency, I use the same fountain pen, or <laughs> I guess it's not a fountain pen. It's using a fountain pen nib, though. This is a 3D printed pen from William Shakur in the UK. So he prints this uh, material 3D and it has a number eight size Bok nib which I can unscrew and you can see there so it is just a dip pen holder for a number eight size Bok nib and the idea is I want to have consistency with the writing sample so I use this I dip it in the ink uh, I write and then I will dip it in here and I will rinse the nib off several times and I will dry it. And then at that point, uh, I will then go on to do the next ink swatch and the next writing sample. So there you have it. That's uh, how I do my ink swatches. So I just wanted to show you uh, that here. Now on to the ink comparison video. So the first ink here is Diamine Lavender. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And you can see this is a lovely lavender color. And I have to say that this is uh, an interesting color ink, one that I do like quite a bit. Uh, we'll do a second pass on top here, and that's to bring out the shading and to show the difference between a wet versus a dry writing nib. So this is Diamine. And it is lavender. But if you do like lavender colors, then this is certainly an ink for you. The next ink is Diamine Violet. And we'll do another ink swatch here. And this is a little bit more of a, a purple tinge uh, on the uh, sort of compared to the lavender version there. We'll do a second pass, so we'll do a second pass here on the top half just to show a little bit more shading and also a, a little bit uh, more between a wet versus a dry writing nib. So this is Diamine and it is Violet. But this is a really nice colour ink and I want to show you also that there is some lovely gold sheen around the rim of that bottle there. So I'm hoping this one will sheen a bit on camera once dry. The next ink here is uh, Herban and it's Violet Pensy. So again, we'll do another ink swatch here. 
and you can see that this is a little bit more purplish i would say a little bit more saturated of a of a color again we'll do a second pass on the top here just to try and show the difference with shading and also the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib so this is herban and it is violet and it is pensy that is actually quite a nice uh, saturated purple ink not a dark purple but i would say a middle of the road purple the next ink here again is another herban ink and this is eclat de saphir so we'll do an ink swatch now this is a blue ink i know a lot of you are going to say it's a blue it's not a purple however the reason why i'm showing this and I'll do a second pass here just to show some shading and the difference between a wet and dry writing nib. Is that this is a bluish purple ink. So uh, it kind of reminds me like Forget Me Not Blue Flowers. Uh, which yes, I know again is blue. However, um, it does have that little bit of lavender colour in. So I thought I would add this as an honourable mention. So this is Herben, and it's Eclat de Saphir. And I'm hoping once that's dried, you're going to see that a little bit more. Um, at the moment, it does look a little bit blue, I have to say. But when I have done writing samples in the past, uh, and ink swabs it has had that little bit of a lavender uh, lighter uh, lavender bluey color the next ink is a sailor ink and this is from the shikiori line and this is um and i'm gonna read the box here it's fuji sugata so we'll do an ink swatch and you can see that this is quite a uh interesting color ink uh, is it a purple hmm. it's certainly a purpley lavender color more lavender i would say so we'll do a second pass over the top here just to show some shading and the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib so this is sailor and it is fuji sugata that is actually quite a nice color once dried and then the last ink here is diamine amazing amethyst so we'll do an ink swatch and this is more of an amethysty color uh it is a bit of a purplish gray i would say uh, hence why i put it here uh amethyst typically is a purplish but this is a, a very different purple ink. So I've done a, a second pass there to show the difference between a wet versus a dry nib. And also to try and show what some of the shading will be like on, on this ink as well. So this is Diamine. And it is Amazing. Amethyst. which is an interesting color for sure. I think now that these inks have dried, let's take a look at these inks in a little bit more detail. So the first ink here is Diamine Lavender. And this is an ink that I do like quite a bit. Uh, it definitely is more of a lavender purpley color. Uh, you can definitely see the difference between a wet versus a dry writing nib. This is a wet writing nib here in the writing sample. Uh, you can also see quite a lot of shading going on here as well in the wet pooled areas of ink. And if I show you this on camera, you will see some sheen around the edges here. It's not a huge amount, but there is some sheen there. There isn't in the writing sample though. So if you find an ink that is very light on sheen, 
you're typically probably not going to see it in the writing sample. The next ink here is a Diamine Violet, which I have to say, out of the two inks, is my go-to ink. You can see a fair amount of difference between a wet versus a dry writing nib. Uh, I do like uh, the writing sample. It's fairly wet writing nib. Uh, there isn't a huge amount of shading going on with this ink. But you can see, if I show you here, there is a lot of gold sheen there on the saturated areas. So if you are going to write in a uh, wet writing nib, and you hopefully can see it there on the V on the violet, uh, and also E on diamine, and also the E and T in violet, that there is quite a lot of sheen going on there in that uh, writing sample. So, so for me, that is actually uh, out of the two inks, I typically prefer that a little bit more. I, to be honest, I prefer the color of Diamine Lavender over Diamine Violet, but I actually like the sheen. And to be honest, when you look at the writing samples, Diamine Lavender is maybe a little bit more saturated in color, uh, and Diamine Violet maybe a little bit more faded or muted. The next ink here is a uh, Herban, and it's Violet Pensy, and. This is a really nice colored ink. Uh, again, another purple ink, and it is a uh, little uh, more saturated. Now, you can see the difference between a wet versus a dry writing nib. Uh, there is a lot of shading going on there as well. And if I show you up close, you'll see that there is quite a bit of sheen around these pulled edges of ink where the ink went on quite a lot. So there is sheen there. Is there sheen in the writing sample? I'm not seeing the sheen there. So uh, it, it's a beautiful color ink, uh, but and has a little bit of sheen, but you're probably not going to see it in a writing sample unless you ink up a pen and potentially leave it inked up for several months, let the water evaporate out of that ink a little bit so it becomes a little bit more viscousy. Then when you write with that that pen, you will probably see it in the writing sample. You'll probably get it for a paragraph or two and then it will probably sort of dissipate at that point. The next ink, and I did say that this was an honourable mention, this is Herban Eclat de Saphir. And... Yes, this is a bit of a blue, but it's a little bit of a purpley blue, uh, so or a mauvey color. So I wanted to add this in. Uh, you can't really see the difference between a wet versus a dry writing nib. However, there is a huge amount of shading going on there. And if you actually look at this area here uh, in the center, you'll see that that is a little bit more purpley. So, so this is a, a, an interesting color. If you want something a little bit between a blue and a purple, maybe it's a blurple, then this might be one for you. Now, if we take a look at the detail here, um, do we see any sheening? Uh, I would say probably not, certainly not in the writing sample. Maybe there is a little bit of sheen around here, um, but yeah, it, it's not a heavy sheening ink. Now, another ink I have here is Sailor Fuji Sugata, and uh, this is an interesting ink. It's a pale purple or violet or even lavender, potentially. Uh, this uh, is an interesting ink for sure. Uh, you can see a little bit of difference between a wet versus a dry writing nib. This is a wet writing nib, so the writing sample uh, for me does correspond with what you're seeing here. Uh, there is a bit of shading going on around pulled areas of ink. Uh, if I show you on camera, is there any sheen here? Not really. I think it's trying to sheen around the edge here. There's certainly nothing in the writing sample. And then the last ink here is Diamine Amazing Amethyst. And this is an interesting... Uh, color. Uh, it is kind of a purple ink. Uh, it is an amethysty color. 
Uh, it's a bit more of a greyish purple or a purplish grey. I kind of would say maybe a little bit more of a violety lavender uh, grey, perhaps. Now, you can definitely see a huge difference between the wet versus the dry. You can also see quite a lot of shading around the pooled areas. Uh, it is a, a purple ink. Is there any sheening there? Uh, yes, there is slight sheening around the, the pooled edges there of ink, but it's very, very difficult to notice. Is there any on the writing sample? No, there is not. So, again, another purplish ink, but not a lot of sheen. So, there you have it. That's my purple inks comparison number three video. If there are any of these inks that you like, let me know in the comments below. Likewise, if there are any other inks that you uh, find very similar or would also like me to compare, then do let me know in the comments below. So that's my purple inks comparison number three video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.